In 1804, when Richard Trevithick designed the first steam engine and George Stephenson redesigned the rocket, the first truly successful steam locomotive, they might not have thought that this black iron horse fed with coal and water would do more for the cause of civilization than any other mechanical invention. When the first train thundered through the Indian countryside, simple natives were in all of the fire carriages. And the 16th April 1853, Overland Telegraph and Courier reported, they slammed the omnipotence of steam as it passed. Since then, the chuck, chuck, chuck steam engine has been an integral part of the The maintenance staff of steam locomotives loved them as their family members. They named them as their children and their deities and took great pride in decorating them on special occasions. They would listen to the sounds of its various parts and come to know of its problems. They would repair them and pay them while sending them out of their repair sheds. जी आप कितने साल से इस तीन लोगों की मेंटेनेंस का काम कर रहे हैं? 18 साल, 18 साल से। अब जबकि ये तीन लोगों बंद होने जा रहे हैं, आपको कैसा लगता है? खराब लगेगा। क्यों खराब लगेगा? सब देख रहे हैं, इधर उधर। अच्छा, और लोगों के प्रति आपकी क्या भावना है? बहुत अच्छा लग। है वो जो बोल मैं दिसीम लोगों की मरम्मत का काम देख रहे हैं। कम आपने हो गए हैं छत्तीस साल। छत्तीस साल? छत्तीस। छत्तीस साल क्या? आप जबकि ये सीम लोगों बंद होने जा रहे हैं, आपकी क्या भावना है? आप कैसा अनुभव करते हैं? एक तो इसकी लोगों से भी सुनना चली जाएगी और हमको बड़ा बुरा लग रहा है कि जो आज हम इतने वो हमको बहुत दुखदाई हो रहा है इस टीम से हमारा बनने में जो पिस्टन रोड है जो धक्का देती है इस टीम तो इसके क्रॉसिंग के द्वारा कनेक्टिंग रोड बंद नहीं हुई है कनेक्टिंग रोड जो ड्राइविंग व्हील को घुमाने का कार्य करती है जिसके द्वारा इंजन चलना शुरू हो जाता है ये आप देख रहे हैं कि इंजन चलना शुरू हो चुका है has not only figured in grandma's stories and lullabies for more than a century, but also found a place in our folk songs. Some of the memorable film songs are based on steam engines. Bye. 
with the whistles, the huffs and puffs and sighs, the groans and moans of a steam locomotive. They will surely miss all the sounds and sight of steam locomotives when they will stop to operate. machine other than a steam engine is as alive as a human being. The shrill notes of a steam engine's whistle express its happiness. The great groans and moans speak volumes for its hard trial of carrying enormous loads. The smooth, easy and rhythmic expresses its speed. And now it doesn't care for the load it is carrying. Its quivers, shakes, and jolts tell their own tales. The steam engines have served as the most effective means to carry people from one part to another, including the remotest rural areas. They have not only transported people, but their dreams and aspirations too. They were very near to their heart. They were a part of the fabric of the daily routine. Later on, steam engine run trains became the poor man's savari because most of them were shuttles or fast passenger trains with comparatively low rates of fuel. In the beginning, the locomotives were built mainly in the United States, United States and France and Germany. The earliest locomotives imported into India were simple in design. The post-war Indian locomotives have been built particularly to suit Indian conditions and fuel economy and the Indian tracks. These people-friendly black iron horses provided angar or the coal ash to the poor for their domestic use, while rural milkmen would use his hot boiling water to wash his milk cans. While manufacturing steam locomotives, basic factors as growth in speed, reduction in fuel consumption, and ability to operate on more moderate grades of fuel, the progress in balancing and stability in movement, etc., were considered impractical. Although the Indian locomotive emerged as a unit built 
primarily for the Indian conditions and though it inherited most of its features from its predominantly British tradition, it had a character of its own. There were over 500 different classes of locomotives in the country in early 1920s with a wide variation in wheel arrangements, wheel sizes and axle loads. But by 1950s, the number of classes was reduced to less than 400. Still so many and what a variety. The once familiar steam locomotives are going to become alien after serving Indian railways proudly and magnificently for more than a century. Alas, the echoing steam whistle of the steam engine will be heard no more. It will haunt us forever. Adieu, the fancy cannot cheat so well as she is famed to do, deceiving elf. Adieu, adieu, thy plaintive anthem fades past the near meadows, over the still stream, up the hillside, 
and now it is buried deep in the next valley glades was it a vision or a waking dream fled is the music do i wake or sleep